In this guided walkthrough, we will take a look at Workspace ONE Intelligence for Horizon. We will explore the dashboard and tiles and understand the metrics that are being collected. We will also take on the role of an IT administrator who will take a look at the metrics from these dashboards to be able to assess a poor user experience in the environment. Let's dive in. Workspace ONE Intelligence comes on top of the Workspace ONE solution Workspace ONE Intelligence now monitoring virtual endpoints using VMware Horizon. A Horizon environment must be cloud connected with a Horizon subscription license. Workspace ONE Intelligence for Horizon is designed to aggregate and correlate data from both Horizon on-prem and Horizon cloud sources to give complete visibility into a customer's Horizon virtual desktop infrastructure. Workspace ONE Intelligence Analytics provides IT administrators visual metrics in the form of dashboards, reports, and notifications. A scoring system helps identify pain points and can help IT administrators create and automate appropriate actions to maintain a secure and functioning digital workspace. Workspace ONE Intelligence gathers its telemetry data from Horizon agents that send the session information via the data path from the Horizon agent through the Horizon Edge Gateway appliance. The data is processed by the Horizon Edge Gateway and sent to Workspace ONE Intelligence. Let's now move into the demo where we take a look at pre-built Horizon dashboards, custom reports, and custom dashboards. We start by logging into the Cloud Services Platform Portal. From the Services section, we launch the Workspace ONE Portal. From the Navigation ribbon on the left, we scroll down to the Virtual Apps and Desktop section and click on the Horizon Next Gen. This brings up the dashboard section, showing us a top level view of the connected Horizon infrastructure into Workspace ONE. In this environment, there are two Horizon sites with three Horizon edges deployed with six pools in total. When we take a closer look, we see a Horizon 8 on premises instance with four pools and a Horizon Cloud next gen deployment with two edges with one pool dedicated for a management edge. If we look at the pools, we have a list of all the pools from both the sites. And if we click into one of these pools, we get a breakdown of the agent telemetry in the form of data sets like total sessions, active sessions, and user count. Looking deeper, we click into the total sessions to give us more granular information in the form of metrics. Based on session health parameters defined, we see two user sessions being displayed with warnings as they have registered a high logon duration of over 200 seconds. We will come back to them at a later point in this demo. Let's look at some more examples of metrics when more user sessions are active. Back at the main dashboard, we now have over 200 user sessions reporting into the environment. Scrolling down, we can see the number of sessions per pool type and the number of sessions over time for active, disconnected, and idle sessions, and the drops in sessions happening as one shift logs off and another shift logs in. Each of these metrics can be further expanded into their own dashboards by clicking on the View Dashboard. Scrolling down, we have user connections from their respective Horizon Edge gateways. There's also a pie chart graph that helps the administrator identify incoming user sessions by the client operating system, may it be a Windows, Mac, iOS, or even a Horizon connection from a Chrome client. Scrolling down, we have another graphical representation showing the utilization in the form of capacity across a single session or multi-session RDS-based connections. Let's take a look at the pool level to see what metrics are being registered. Look at this pool registering green, which is good. With multiple active users, we get to see user session details. We now know that this pool is a desktop pool. We see the pool name and that it's a VDI pool and not a session-based RDS pool. We also have metrics like the desktop host name and logon duration that's being displayed. Let's take a look at the total sessions dashboard and see if we can catch any anomalies. Straight out of the bat, we see two user sessions in the warning state. These are the same users we identified earlier. One of the sessions 
seems to be in an idle state and the other disconnected. If we look closer, we see that these are Horizon cloud-based connection sessions and they have a rather long duration of logon of over 200 seconds. Looks like there's a high shell load and interactive load time, which could indicate latency in a profile policy being pushed or a script being run or network related issues causing this logon delay. With this level of information, ID administrators can further investigate, narrow down and pinpoint the issue and choose the next course of action to be taken. Back at the main dashboard, let's look at the counter values. Looking at the top sessions, we can change the duration of the data set to reflect more information over a period of time. If we change the value from 24 hours to the last seven days, the graph changes to reflect the point in time and day where there was the least number of connected sessions. July 16th being a Sunday, we see the least number of users connected on that particular day to the Horizon environment. And then when the week starts, the session count spikes up to remain constant over the week. Let's take a look at the user metrics. From the main dashboard, we explore the user dashboard. We can see that the user identified earlier has connected to three sessions. Scrolling to the right, we see that the session with the warning is a cloud-based VDI session, but the other two sessions are on-prem-based sessions to two different VDI pools. With good performance on on-prem sessions, the IT administrator would need to look at the components associated with the user profile that's causing the latency to his cloud-based VDI session and the connectivity thereof, and go ahead and provide a fix. This brings us to the end of our demo session.